and this is the Innova 1000 OBD2 scan tool. Now this is not your typical Bluetooth scanner. Not only can it read the codes from the vehicle, it can also tell us what the actual fix is in order to get rid of that code and even give us a link to obtain the part that will fix our vehicle. It also has the ability to access other modules in the vehicle such as ABS, which are the brakes, SRS, airbag, and more. And on this video, I'm gonna walk you through its features. That way you can decide if this is the right scanner for you. And as always, I'd like to remind you that I placed a link in the description down below to the 1000 in case you wanna check it out more. And the app is called Repair Solutions 2 and it's available for Apple and Android devices. And what it does, it connects to the scan tool automatically. You could also pair to the tool manually using this icon, but as you can see, it is doing it automatically. Let's just give it a little bit for it to pair. And once we're in, we are given several choices and the main two are gonna be this one right here, which is a scan of the complete system of the vehicle or just to do a simple OBD2 standard diagnosis, basically to check the check engine light. Let's go ahead and start with the whole full system scan. You will be prompt to enter the number of miles on the vehicle and that is gonna help to generate the report. And as you can see, the app is gonna break down the issues into two main sections. If it knows what the potential fix for the issue is, you're gonna have that up here. If it doesn't know what the potential fix for that issue, then those codes are gonna be in the bottom. So first, let's start with the top. In this particular case, there are three issues here, and it's gonna show you the details of the issue. In this case, the DTC is PO135, and the details of that issue is that there is an O2 sensor heater performance issue. This includes information such as how severe the issue is and also whether the repair should happen immediately and what can happen if it's not repaired, such as the effects on the vehicle. Well, here's the really cool part about this app is that it gives you the most likely fix. So not only does it tell you what the issue is, it also shows you what can potentially fix it. And in this case, it says to replace the oxygen sensor. And also with this icon, it's gonna take us straight to be able to order the part. And there is additional information in the bottom, such as the other store or pending codes. In this case, there is a P0141, and this is again related to that oxygen sensor, so it is likely that this part is gonna take care of those two issues. Now, if you wanted to get more into depth, there is a shortcut in here to the freeze frame data, basically what was going on in the car at the time that the issue was found, and also a shortcut to the monitors for the vehicle. Now, assuming that the car had been repaired and I have replaced that part, I can go ahead and use the erase code functions to erase the codes, or if I did not want to bother with that, I can use the Repair to Solutions app to schedule a repair. Well, now let's take a look at the second section, and that is the systems without fixes, without known fixes. Basically, there is a fix for it, but the app is not gonna tell us this is the part that you need to swap out, or this is what has to be repaired. Here's where a mechanic is gonna have to use this information to make a decision and investigation into what is required to fix the vehicle. And going back to the main menu, the next section is that emissions readiness and the app for the most part has a lot of pop-ups that tell you what everything is. So in this particular case, if you are not familiar with that, it tells you right there what the issue is. In this particular case, it detected that it's not ready for emissions test. Now I'm going to scroll down through here and let's take a look at those maintenance items that I mentioned earlier. So as you can see, it tells us that there are seven items due, the estimated cost for them, and then it tells you the breakdown of the items and once again there is a shortcut to be able to purchase those items that way you don't have to worry about finding the right part the app is gonna do that for you. Moving over to TSV and recalls. Now, a lot of this information is available publicly right off the internet, but having to search for it and having to input a VIN number and finding out 
if it's applicable to your vehicle or not can be a little bit more work and here the app is gonna do that for you it right away tells you with the number of the recalls and the details of those recalls and in this particular case also TSVs and as you can see on here they tell you which ones are applicable and also you can tap on them directly to see the details and I think this particular section is going to be helpful not only for your own vehicle but potentially for a vehicle that you may be looking to purchase and understand what has to be done to it as far as recalls and TSVs and also as far as the cost of ownership. Moving over to the next section that is going to be live data now this particular scanner allows us to select up to eight different parameters to stream from the vehicle at the same time in this case for example if I wanted to look at short term field trim and I can't select it because again I maxed out I will just deselect something that I don't really need to look at and then select the one that I'm interested in, and then I can hit done and here's the eight parameters that I selected and let's take a look at RPM so I'm gonna give it some gas Not the most responsive, but it does stream the data. And also I can switch over to the graphical view. And usually with scanners, what I'm looking for in terms of the data is the relationship between the different sensors and the data that they are providing me to understand what the issue is. Now, another thing that we can do right now, we can begin to record the data. Now, this can be handy if I wanted to take the vehicle out on a test drive and then come back and park the vehicle and then review the data. And the second option is going to be to overlay the graphs. Now, this is what I was talking about, about comparing the different data or the different graphs from two different sensors to understand what the issue is. And we can overlay a maximum of two items on top of each other. And again, here I have the RPMs and now I have short term field trim. Let's take a look at that. And once again, we have that option to record the overlay. That way we can review it later. And finally, we get this past recordings tab, and this is where the prior recordings are. And here you can see those in this way, or you can see them in a live replay. And again, you get the ability to switch that over to a graphical view or a grid view. Now, in the case that you did not need a full complete scan of the vehicle, Check Engine is gonna give you the standard OBD2 diagnostics. And as you can see, it found three codes and it found them a lot faster than having to scan the whole vehicle. And the interface here is the same as what I showed you before. The main difference again is whether you want a complete scan of the vehicle, if you don't mind waiting, or if you already know that you only need to check the PCM, ECM basically for engine issues, then this option will work for you. Now, if you wanted to select a particular module to be scanned, you can tap on this icon and here I can select whether I want OBD diagnostics, ABA diagnostics, SRS diagnostics, or TCM diagnostics, or anything else that might have been found on the vehicle. And again, this is going to be if you are looking to save time over the full scan. If you already know what particular system on the vehicle has the issue, you can select and narrow down that system, giving you that DTC a little faster than having to go through the whole vehicle. Let's also take a look at service checks. And here's where you can tap on some of these items. If your vehicle supports it it will give you a readout of it if the vehicle doesn't support it it's going to tell you that it is not applicable this particular vehicle does not have tire pressure sensors that's why it's not finding anything on there service functions is also very similar if your vehicle supports any of this you will be able to tap on here and see the instructions for that particular operation if your vehicle does not support any of these functions it'll tell you on here if it does not support it. And as far as updates, that is done with this icon right here. And as you can see, it tells you that we are currently connected to the tool. And if I choose the view info tool, then it tells us the current firmware that the tool is on and the ability to check for updates. 
and talking about updates they are included for free there's no additional subscription required in order for you to get them and the app is actually the same app that is used by his big brother the innova 5610 so it has a lot of capability in a smaller package now it is important to point out that this is not a bi-directional scanner it is an advanced scanner but it cannot send commands to the vehicle to activate components like this big guy does the 5610 and i previously reviewed this scanner on the channel if you guys want to see that review i'll put a link to that in the description down below i think this guy is going to be a good choice for anybody who's actually working in the vehicle at an advanced level where they need to send commands to it this guy right here i think is going to be a good fit for somebody who wants to diagnose a vehicle and is most likely most of the time a simple fix as far as swapping a part so there is no need to send commands to the vehicle so potentially you could save money by getting the 1000 over the 5610 now if you do know ahead of time that you're gonna need a lot more capability and you need to send commands to the vehicle i'm gonna say skip the 1000 and go for the 5610 if you're not sure if you need bi-directional capability that probably tells me that you're probably gonna be okay with the 1000 because this can pretty much cover most of the stuff that's gonna come up with a car and especially if you don't work on your own vehicle if you're not a home mechanic this can be very handy to understand what is wrong with the vehicle that way when you take the vehicle to the actual mechanic to the dealer you can compare what the scanner says and what the mechanic is telling you or the dealer is telling you is see if it adds up so it could potentially save you money that way even if you're not looking to fix the vehicle yourself so remember i placed a link in the description down below to the 1000 and i'll place a link to the 5610 too if you guys want to check that out if you guys have any other questions regarding this please put that in the comments down below if you found any part of this video helpful make sure you hit the like button to support the channel and stay tuned as i have a lot more scanner reviews coming up Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.